Hey guys, in this video we're gonna go through a Honda CR 252 stroke and this bike is really special to me because this is what I used to race back when I was a teenager in Denmark doing the nationals and I really like this bike also because it's really fast and it's more manageable than the CR 125 if you look over here. This one I have just gone through a full bike rebuild as well and as you can see it looks quite nice and this one is going to look even better I think when we're done with this one. So we're going to take it all apart and we're going to look inside the engine. It's going to take the, the crankcases apart too because it has a strange sound coming from the crankcase so I suspect there might be a broken bearing. That's what I hope it is and then we'll get that all replaced and um, new piston and gaskets and everything. Also going to do a front suspension rebuild. Uh, a couple of other parts has to be changed as well. And then we're gonna have fun looking at how we fix things here in Thailand on a tropical island where uh, sometimes you have to get creative. Like for example, if we look down here, the subframe actually cracked. Aluminum welding is not as accessible here. So instead of like not riding, you know, we wanna go riding, then we just um, drill a hole in a washer, a steel washer, <laughs> and then we put two bolts in and then we connect it with a washer. Oh, now we got a helper here. Right behind here, you can also see there was a broken exhaust connection here. And we just used a construction um, rubber mount here that is basically made for like hot, hot liquids and stuff. And we can connect it like that and it might even be better than original. Yeah, that's a lot of little things like that that we have used to fix the bikes and keep them running. And um, that's how you're going to do if you live on a tropical island and you love riding and you want to go riding. So now I'll get started taking the complete engine apart. And that starts by taking all the plastics off and the subframe and the radiators and so on. Okay, so this is a problem. Um, there's three of these rivets that have fallen off and they have probably been grinding around in the gearbox and making all those noises. Okay, and let's have a look inside the cylinder here. As you can see, the the head has been chopped up a bit by some steel but it should still work but I have never seen a more worn out scratched up cylinder than this so we're also gonna buy a new cylinder especially because there's actually a hole in the cylinder wall also the reed valve doesn't look too good so we should also buy a new of that one okay so now we got the engine out and we got it opened up Split the crankcases and we found out what was broken. It was not only the piston. It's basically, it looks like it's just a frame that's broken. That's supposed to hold the balls in place. And then, ah, here you can see. Then these parts of the ball frame have just been 
sucked up into the piston, which made a lot of funny sounds. So yeah, time to order some new parts and wait for the postman. And we're also going to buy a new crankshaft because the bearing has been exposed to debris, as well as we're also gonna buy new crank and transmission bearings. So yeah, this is one of the biggest rebuild projects I've ever done. Completely broken engine almost. The positive side of that is that it's going to be almost a new engine when we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see the full bike rebuild project. Have a good day and see you on the next one. If you want to learn more tools and techniques and habits that can improve your life quality and performance and well-being overall, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you like tropical island holidays, visit fitcamp5.com for my two-time TripAdvisor award-winning training camp, where we train fitness and action sports together while learning to live a healthy lifestyle and maybe most importantly, have fun at the same time. And if you're really serious about improving yourself, you should definitely check out my full online courses where I share step-by-step -step programs on how I developed my own routines over the last 12 years as a CEO working in four different countries while being a successful competitive athlete with more than 20 years of experience in fitness and nutrition. Check the link in the description for that. And in any case, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Be awesome. Believe in yourself. And see you on the next one.